everyone, my name is Victoria and welcome back to my channel. Tonight is the night before I go back to university. Uh, I go to Texas A&M and tomorrow on the 19th is when the new semester starts. Of course, along with all the new things coming up and I'm gonna have to quickly get into work going from literally not having anything to do to having to catch up with five classes and stay on track and make sure that I'm getting everything done because the majority of it is online. I thought that I would bring y'all with me to organize everything that has to do with getting ready for class, my backpack, going through my schedule, and going through all of the syllabi. Of course this video is going to be cut down, but for me, I know it's going to take a long time. So tea of the day, I got honey and lemon tea from Japan, and I added a little bit of extra, extra Texas honey in it. It's so hot. It's good though. So before we actually get into organizing, let me tell you about the classes that I have been stuck with this semester. It's actually not that bad now that I look into what the classes are about, but they're definitely not what I was expecting as a communication student. So first, one that I knew I had to take is Intermediate Spanish 2. This is my final required language class. I'm very glad to be done with it because I have stressed over and over again that I have not had the best experiences with with Spanish professors and I'm just not good at memorization but I am excited to get that over with. My second class is Rhetoric Western Thought and this is a required class. I wasn't really sure what this was about. I thought it was going to be more philosophy and I'm not wrong but this is specifically going back thousands and thousands and thousands of years back to like Plato and I believe I'm gonna be learning about different philosophies philosophers, philosophers, and how they believe that humans communicate and how we can now apply it into the present. I'm not really sure what I'm expecting with this class, but I did see a little blurb about Zeus, so if I learn about Greek mythology, that will be freaking amazing. I really hope that happens in this class. Number three class is Cultural Diversity and Ethics. So this is an anthropology class, this is for my minor, and I didn't necessarily choose this, but the professor I heard is really awesome and I think it's a really important topic, so I just went along with it. And I think it's a pretty generic class. I think we're gonna be learning about the ethics of different cultures. Next is Women in Culture, also an anthropology class, not one I really wanted to go into again, but I think it's going to be really cool and it's going to be all about women in several different cultures, their place in society, how it came to be that way, and evolution and progression and gender norms. Lastly, there is World Literature, which is another required class. I think this is going to be my last literature English type class. I'm quite excited for this one. I really like reading, but I think it's going to be very heavy in reading and writing. But I guess we'll just see. So those are all the classes that I'm taking this semester. That is 15 credits and it really all depends how much reading and writing there's going to be for me to understand how difficult the course is. <laughs> So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my handy dandy planner. It's from 2020 to 2021, so it's awesome. I didn't have to get a new one, I just had this one. It's my favorite colors too. You can get this one on Amazon for about $10. This is by Blue Sky. You can get it on bluesky.com too. But it's tiny, it's cute, and fits in my backpack really well. So let's go to January. And starting on the 19th, I'm going to begin writing everything that is in the syllabus. It's probably going to have all of the readings, all of the videos, if there are videos, project dates, all the tests and the quizzes, and I'm going to write it all in pencil just in case the professor changes things. When I have a lot on my plate, my mind kind of goes just all over the place, so I need things to be written down so I can take it out wherever, whenever, and make sure that I am on track for the week. All right, now let's look at women in culture. This one should be really cool. This one is also super neat, and it has a little more info in it. So, of course, it's the week one, there's a discussion, 
And of course on week two, there's a quiz. But even the topics that they're talking about, such as nature versus nurture and sex versus gender, it is so clear about what we're going to be learning about. And you can see which discussions are what, where to find them. The weeks are also sectioned out into larger topics. For example, there's women in politics. There's also women in work. This just makes it so easy. And this class should be a breeze, at least when it comes to organization. Control, diversity, and ethics. I'm also very excited for this class. This is the one with the really awesome professor. And this syllabus has a lot more going on with it. All of the info for the whole semester, all the stuff that I need to do is on one page, which is so awesome. Except I have no idea what MTRJ means. I'm gonna have to learn what the heck that means. But again, this is sectioned into fundamentals, ethics, and different ways of thinking, which makes it super easy for me to know exactly what we're talking about. So this one is rhetoric, Western thought, and this is the one that I was talking about that has to do with Plato, Greece, Rome, and how they see ethics and politics and communication. This is a clean freaking schedule. It tells me exactly what I have to read. It tells me when my tests are. It tells me who I'm going over and the dates are so easy. This professor also made sure to caps lock anything that is super important like the video project in the final exam. So I'm gonna go to Spanish. And of course this one is all in Spanish, which is so, so nice of them. Mm-hmm. So I have a lot of homework in Spanish, that's usually how it is, and this is the same setup as last semester. So you see a lot of vocabulary, and you see some passages about cultures where they want you to read and answer some questions. And anywhere that it says Estructura Uno is a page of grammar and vocabulary all combined. Also, Spanish classes tend to love putting in music videos for us to analyze. I think that the syllabus is the most important paper that you're going to get in the beginning of your class. This is because the university has this piece of paper so they understand and you understand what you're going to learn. So if you have any questions about what's going to happen in the class, if there are any conflicting things, you can always go back to the syllabus and back up your claim. For example, if a professor tries to give you a project due date earlier than what the syllabus says, you can always go back to the syllabus and tell them, hey, it's written on the syllabus differently. And they usually, usually, if they're not an asshole, will listen to you. The next thing that I know I need to do is make sure that I have all of the books at least written down for the start of the school year. I've already gone through them, so I know that one of them is this Spanish textbook. I believe this is an online textbook. And all I'm gonna do is copy this here because I know I want it in the MindTap format. And then I'm going to put it into my notes. The reason I'm not getting it right now is because you want to make sure that the book is actually required. Sometimes you'll go into class and the professor will be like, you actually don't need the book that's in the syllabus. And you don't wanna spend 50, 100, $300 on a book that you really don't need. And I know I'm gonna need to buy books for world literature, but this is all I can do right now. The next thing I have to do is actually plan what I'm going to be putting in my backpack, get it ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is one of two days out of the week that I actually go to campus. I only have one class and that is world literature that I attend in person. I would have preferred it all being online for safety concerns, but I literally had no choice in the matter, so this is what I get. But this is what I will be bringing as they're all pretty much essentials. First, I'm gonna be bringing hand sanitizer for obvious reasons. I just want to be as safe as I possibly can be. And offering hand sanitizer is a good way to make friends. I'm also going to be bringing one notebook, that's it, for one class, as well as my iPad. These are both going to be used for taking notes and keeping track of things. I really don't even need my laptop, so I'm trying to keep it as compact as possible. I'm also going to be bringing both pens and pencils obviously necessary, and some lotion. Even though I'm in Texas, it's still in the middle of winter right now, so of course a girl has got to be bringing lotion, as well as chapstick and lip glosses. If you know me, I bring like a dozen. I 
always have been since freshman year of high school. I have several on hand. But along with that stuff, I'm going to be bringing a charger for my phone and my iPad, a snack or two. I'm only there for an hour and a half, but I try not to spend any money there. And my glasses and some masks, of course, but I think that's going to go with my outfit. And lastly, an umbrella. It is supposed to rain all week. It's going to be pouring like hell, so I'm going to be bringing an umbrella with me as well as rain boots. And with that, last thing I have to do is plan out my outfit for tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, I know that doesn't really sound like a college student thing, like why would you plan a college student outfit? I prefer planning out my first outfit to whatever I go to. In this case, it's the first day of class. I'm not gonna be super fancy, I'm literally wearing rain boots, but I want it to be something nice. I'm probably gonna wear a sweater, so let's go do that. I think I'm gonna go with this burnt orange sweater, which is so warm and cozy, but it looks a little more professional. And then I'm gonna be wearing these light blue ripped jeans. I know they're not like professional or anything, but again, it's warm and comfy and it's cute. And lastly, these really tall rain boots. If it gets really chilly, I have several winter jackets, but I I'm also going to shove in a sweater to my backpack since I have the room and that's pretty much it. Nothing super fancy. I'll be wearing some gold rings and some studs and this is going to be my first outfit of the first day of my spring semester. Whew, that was a lot of work. Thank you guys for watching and I hope that y'all have an amazing start to your semester if you're in college or if you're going back to high school. I hope that goes super well for you and wish me luck on my first day back to school at Texas a &M. If you like this video, don't forget to like, maybe comment down below. I love hearing from y'all. And if you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notifications every single time that I post. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.